everyone. Welcome to the Applied Logic class. We're going to be using the tool Visual Logic. Currently it's in ver version 2.2.4. With your book, you'll have gotten a key code that will let you purchase a license key. You'll have to download it from the website visuallogic.org. Then each time that you open it, it's going to have you look for that license file. Now I have mine in my document li library in my Visual Logic folder. So I'm going to select my file to get started. It's important to know where that where your executable is in the future because um, it's going to be important when we're getting into reading file input and output. So I keep mine in the same spot. So this is what you see when you open up Visual Logic. And it has various tools you can see in here. We have file which lets you open, save, export. You can export it as a visual basic file. We don't actually do that in this class. It lets you set your program font and other options. It'll let you zoom in or zoom out. So you can zoom in, zoom out, and if you hit the control plus key or the control minus key, they do the same thing and I think that's a little easier. You can run, pause, or terminate. You can also step into or step over. These are some of your debugging tools. I'm going to get more into these next week. In the tools, you can watch variables, you can do some testing, and we get again into those in the next week or so. And you can add procedures, and you can of course check for updates, do other things in help. So you can see if you have the most current version, and I do. So that's pretty much the menu bar at the top. Here we have the option for new, open, save. You can copy and paste in here. You can test. Right now we, there's a program here but it really doesn't do anything. It goes from begin to end. And so those are the options you have. It's a very simple program. When I right click here you'll notice I have the options for input, assignment, output, if, for, while, exit, make array, graphics, call procedure, and play multimedia. So it has several options. Now the traditional thing that you're going to do in programming for a first program is simple output. Here we're going to use the output and it has to be in quotes, hello world, which is your traditional first program. And I'm going to hit OK and I'm going to run this. And we get an alert box that says hello world. If we hit OK, that will close it. We have other options here. I just double clicked on it. And when I hit more, I can go from dialog box to console or file. Don't worry about file right now. We will print out to a file later in the class. But you're going to find that the console program is actually a little bit more friendly frequently. So I'm going to hit OK here and I'm going to run this again. This puts it into more traditional setting. Now one of the first things that people need in the once we get into more um, extensive programs starting next week is to be able to output to multiple lines. So I can click after my quotes here, hit enter, and type in my name is Mary. And that will actually put a blank line in my display. So you'll just hit enter between the quotes. So that's simple output. You're going to have a simple output assignment where you have to create several lines of text. And I want them outputted, I want them output to the console. But I'm also going to have you do one output to the dialog box. So again, fairly simple stuff. This is where you get started with Visual Logic. When you're done, you'll save it and you'll give it a name. I would appreciate very much, because I typically download all of these at once, you're going to name it whatever the name of the file is. In this case it will be output and your last name. I'm going to do an underscore Winchester. 
So when you name files, please name them with whatever file name I gave you, but most important thing, just put your last name on it. That's what I'm looking for to make sure that I'm grading the right program for the specific person. So that's getting started with output in Visual Logic.